What is up? I know it's been have a hot minute for me being in here, so uh, I've been watching some videos, but when I got down to the point where I need some sim packs, uh, I actually looked at some people's methods, and they were saying you should go down to Vault 76, down to the Moonshiners, as I'm going to show you on here, uh, go to the Moonshiner Shack and this place. And that was like the only information of textbooks, but there's more areas that I can show you that already have this whole routine uh, lined up. So, all right, well, hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's head for enjoyment. Let's go that way for enjoyment. It's actually the other way there, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, so we're gonna head down to the moon shinery straight from the vault 76 this is where you find at least about four to five ticks over here so you might want to blast them right away just don't let them eat you or uh, you'll actually lose the uh, ticks because once they start burst you won't be able to recover them so Okay, there's three, only three rare hits here, so... Oh, also if you have the, uh... Let me see, hold on. If you have this one, the Butcher, uh, you'll be able to, uh, farm out extra tick blood. Like the little search button right here, you click on it, and then you get tick blood. Sometimes you'll be able to get two of them if your, uh, perks are maxed out. So it's pretty cool. All right. So we was right here at the at the moonshine rack. We're gonna be running all the way down here. So we're gonna be Nyuta running. So here we go. All and this is over at the lumber. And this is also really good for wood farming. So that's another method of looking for wood. Cause there's a lot of cooking and stuff too. I mean, you guys are in the world. Clean wastelanders, but yeah. So hopefully this video will be a little bit more helpful and a little bit more extra um, tick blood farming and blood packs. Okay, I will show you just a little bit more. But eventually one of them will happen. They'll nick me just long enough and they'll start turning red and then they'll end up bursting. Alright, here's some more coming. I'm just trying not to have them nicking at me. So there's that one. that too but really necessary don't have to but you know it's really good when you're making blood packs because you're gonna need a lot of those too all right that should be wrapped up with this video where most YouTubes have covered um, so that's like your two spots um, right here at the Gilmore lawn and the moonshiner from vault 76 and uh, let me get myself uh, fed really fast. All that farming just gets you hungry. All right, the next stop, your blood pack, is going to be right here at the Grafton Station. So we'll go here. I may have a creature near my me. We had to walk just a little way from the... Uh, area and um, this is pretty much like uncut so I can tell you like a little bit more of a history of Fallout 76 but this is also one of the first videos 
uh, of this year, I think it is. I made made have made another video back in the past, but I haven't doing all these little hints because I might be this live stream uh, Fallout 76 on Twitch. So, all right, let's see. I don't know what's going on with this camera. I think it's like too dark in here, but that's alright. It doesn't matter. I'm on the timer, so I guess it's like you guys don't want to like fast forward the video. Because like, uh, I'm trying to do this as quick as possible to show you where all the farming methods behind this door. There needs to be a blood pack on the sink. So there used to be a blood pack right here, and that is the Grafton Station, and I just saw another blood pack, it's right here at the Morgtown Station. Same thing, so check the bathrooms more often at the train stations, because uh, they do have blood packs, and um, down there at the bottom, um, you usually have like a can of coffee, I can show you that after I spawn in. But um, yeah, it's just another good tick blood uh, farming too, but you can see at nighttime, but it's daytime right now, so it's camp. Uh, Adams, so that's another event you guys want to check out. Um, also, let's see, where is it? Yeah, it used to be a blood pack like, right here too. So yeah, these are the only two places I know where blood packs are more frequent. I must have picked them up. And then the last stop, but not least, is over here by Harper's Ferry. And it's right here at my campsite. So it's like at the end of the railroad tracks. And it's right here at the little shed. And there's a tons of tick bloods right here. So we're going to go down there and um, farm some up. <laughs> But yeah, if there's any other uh, tick blood uh, areas or blood packs, yeah, just let, just comment in the uh, posts and stuff and let me know if you guys like more of these videos or the live streams are going to be on uh, Twitch and that's along with Fortnite as well. So I just started playing Fortnite just a little bit ago. So uh, I'm pretty much doing both on Twitch. So that's pretty cool and hopefully you guys be able to join Alright, let me get rid of this. Alright, and then this little house right here. This is at the end of the railroad tracks. So, sometimes uh, you're between the treetop and the Big B's rest stop. So, across from it, that's where you want to be. And this little building right here. This is where all the ticks are at. Mo like most of them. Look at that. I'm gonna let one of them attack me, and I'll show you how. Uh, show you how that is. See when they blow up like that? Watch this. Bite me one more time. All right, he just went down. So I guess it's like when they blow up, you don't want to uh, hit him. Okay, here it is. See when you blow them up like that, you can't recover them. And then um. But yeah, that's sometimes that happened to me, so I won't won't be able to like reboot it. Oh, this one got sim packs in it and buff out. <laughs> yeah, there's that two tick blood. That one was just waiting patiently. That's another one floating around. I think that's right over there. And this is like more ticks combined to the new chinery and the lumber. So you're getting the exact amount, but only at this location. And uh, I believe that's it. But also check out the outside of the perimeter sometime too, because they might be some loose ones are floating out here as well. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, I guess I could do a, a review. So pretty much from the Harper's Ferry. 
um, right down here across from Big B's rest stop and right here to this part and when you see this little onion uh, fence you'll be able to know it's the uh, at least about four to six ticks in here then up there is about like two to four uh, at the Volt 76 area where is that the moonshine shack and then you get the same amount down here at the lumber and then the blood packs are happening at the Grafton Steel, I mean Grafton Station and also the Moortown Station and uh, yeah that's pretty much all I have to say if you guys want to see more videos or something let me know and um, I can tell you about all the histories about Fallout 76 when it first came out and I can tell you all about the history of Wastelanders is about to be coming up pretty soon as well. And uh, they've been delaying it and now it's finally coming out and also Pack East. So I'm trying to get my foot in the door with YouTube and Twitch. So hope you guys like this and I'll talk to you later.